The next two things are, yeah, makeup palettes. This was Stila. I have a whole video about that. It will eventually go up with me testing it. I bought this through the website Glambot, which is a place where you buy used makeup. I figured I'd give it a try. And um, the review and the results are A+, plus, excellent, but that will go up later. Um, this is the Stila in the Moment palette. I've used it more than it was when I got it. Um, so I'm super happy with that. It was really a lower price. This one was something I got off um, that fake Wish app. They finally sent it to me. I, I know it's trying to like rip off another one. I don't know which one. I'm not that into the beauty community. But I really do like the colors. I really, really do. I've used it a few times. I mean, I really like it. However, the only thing about it is um, they all kind of have the same hue. Like it's all reds and cranberries, which is... I was looking for a cranberry palette, but there's all these colors and you can put as... You can't get a look because your, your eye just ends up looking like orange cranberry, no matter what you do. So you have to mix it with other things. And there's some that are glittery and some that aren't, and they all do the exact same thing. So the description on the back is kind of poopy, but whatever. I think it was like six bucks. I still don't recommend. However, this brand is the You Can Be brand. And this brand is actually like a real traded brand that you can look up. And they are vegan and cruelty free. Oh, maybe not vegan, but they're definitely cruelty free. Because they're little bunnies on it. And I do have something else from this brand. Um, yeah, I can't afford the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. But I got the dupe from this brand. It works. I'm sorry that I'm buying dupes, but like, I can't afford it. What else should I say? So, speaking of palettes that I'm in love with, this one. Now, it came in the sale, another the big sale for Elf, where I had like three orders. Um, it's the Mad for Matte eyeshadows. So, the Mad for Matte's are very known. They're usually $10. All of these formats are $10. But the colors in it. These two, I'm living for them. I love this teal and then the blue. It's just great. I cannot get enough. I got it on a whim, like just, you know, because it was on sale. If it would have been 10 bucks, like full price, I never would have put it in my cart. But I'm super glad it, I did. And now that I know about it, I would have paid $10 for this. So in my order for the free order, I ordered another big eyeshadow palette because I already have one and I bought the New York. I already have California, I bought New York. I'm waiting for it to come in, I love those as well. The other thing I like in the e.l.f. palettes is the Prism palette. Now mine's a little bit wonky. They, they did refund me because the last colors, they don't have, oh um, you can see yourself. The last one doesn't really have a color in it, it turns brown, I don't know why. But these colors, I love them. I really do. So for the fact that like the last two are kind of, I would still, I'm still waiting for the rose one prism to come on sale because I will definitely buy that. Not full price though, because I'm not that happy with this one. And then I found this Makeup Revolution Slay palette at Winners, obviously. And I really like it. I like these colors. You can get a full look out of just one palette, which is great. I, you know, we don't have a bazillion hours. I mean, I have a bazillion hours, but you guys don't. The only thing that's a little bit off is these are so tiny. Like, how are you going to get a brush in there? Mostly, like, I don't wear my glasses when I'm putting makeup on my eyeballs. I cannot see. I'm, I'm legally blind without glasses. Even with them, I'm almost legally blind. So, yes, people, like, that's a crazy thing. So yes, people, that's a crazy thing. A lot of you out there think that all my disabilities revolve around me, you know, being mentally, whatever. No, I have other things. I just don't complain about them. 
Because the fact that I have low vision is not something that I need attention to. Everybody understands that if you can't see, you can't see. Being blind isn't something that someone questions. The fact that I have narcolepsy doesn't really, well, that needs to be explained a little bit because people don't really know what it is. But I have it. That might be why I have a concussion. I don't know. There's nobody here with me to witness it because 95% of my time, I am alone in my house. Can I say? Let's just keep going with Elf. This isn't the order I wanted to do it, but you know what? My brain is just doing what it wants. So this is the Elf Prep and Hydrate Balm. As a primer, this is the best thing in the world ever. I'm really glad I have a second one for when this one runs out. It's, it's like a stick thingy, and there's a lot of products. But the thing is, is like, one, it works great as a primer, but two, it has like this cooling cucumber feeling to your face. I mean, one, it's warm all the time here. Well, not all the time. Everyone's, I don't know, this weather is just weird. But, when it'll wake you up in the morning and all that kind of, it just feels really, really nice on your skin. I, li I really like it. And no, it is not the reason for these. This is just stress. Because life is hurt sometimes. And you know what? It's okay to have a hard life. It's okay to have a bad day. And it's okay to say, I'm having a bad day. We don't have to be perfect. That's what I want to say. Alright, moving on. Favorites, again. This is one of my favorite brushes from e.l.f. It's a dollar. One dollar, people. One dollar. It's the greatest thing for like, you know, when you want to do some highlighting or contour contouring. I can't remember the freaking word. My brain, again, we're not going to go there. You know. This one I got on the sale. It's usually six bucks, but it was like a dollar ninety-two for the sale. My sister also got the same one. It's powder blurring brush. I don't care what you call it. It's really, really thick, really soft. It says it's for powder, but you could definitely get away with foundation with this. Definitely, if you're the type of person for foundation with a brush, this would definitely work. I really like it. I really do. This one is the cutest thing ever. Look at this shape. And it's for cream contour. And, um, sorry, you know, brand I'm not going to name. Thank <laughs> Um, they came out with this brush that has this kind of shape and everybody, you know, that got sent PR went, oh my gosh, what a new shape. Sorry, Elf made this brush like two years ago. This is like their second. So all the white handles was their first generation of brushes. The black handles are their second generation. And now they have these clear crystal white ones. That's the third generation. I don't have enough money to afford the third generation. But it doesn't matter. These still work perfectly fine. And this is just another brush that I got in Ipsy at one point in time. I, I don't even know the name of it. It's, I, I can't tell you. It's all worn off. But it's really thick and I really, really like it because when I use that prism palette that has, this is great for like loose glitter. Now when it comes to loose glitter, because y'all know I love glitter, here's the trick. Glitter glue. Glitter glue. And yes, I have elf glitter glue. Of course I do. So, Elf Glitter Glue is like $2. It does the exact same thing as all the other kinds of glitter glue from all the other kind of companies. And it is what it sounds like. It's like glue. You, you know, open it up, squeeze a little bit, a tiny drop on your hand, and then, you know, pat it on your eye. The other cool thing about glitter glue is that it doesn't just hold glitter. You know, if you want a pop of color, don't play around wetting your brush and using your makeup because it's going to ruin the pan a little bit. Just put some of this and then put the makeup on top. It looks the exact same thing. So if you want it to be like super pigmented, put a little bit of glitter glue and then it's just gonna show up. Speaking of glitter, these are some of my favorite things. This is the e.l.f. pop of gel glitter. I already had a gold color that I bought during a sale. This one I got in the sale too and I'm living for it. Like look at this. Can you see that glitter? I don't think the color is coming out, but it's beautiful. It's like a purple opalescent yellow, not yellow, pink. Pink and purple opalescent. Look, my words aren't working. So what? This is neat. See with it. This is called the Pout Perfector. It is $3. 
yes, I bought another one in this new order. The amount of glitter this thing puts out there is insane. I love it. It's just amazing. It's just total, so awesome. For people who love glitter lips, this is the thing. I love glitter. You all know that. And I also have the prismatic lip glosses. I have them in two colors. I love them. I have amethyst, which I've rebought. I ran out of a whole one. And then I bought black onyx when I rebought amethyst. Those are in my room. I don't have time to go get them. You all know what they are. But this one, I mean, look at that glitter. That's just perfect. And this just goes on by itself. I've tried it as a topper. It, no. Just put it on itself and it's nothing but glitter. It's amazing. I love it. The other thing that I really like that has glitter is this tiny little elf topper. I don't know. They call it a topper. I use it like a lip balm because it's really like a lip balm. It's really hydrating just like a lip balm. But it has a tiny little bit of gold flecks in it. I love this. And uh, yeah, I did rebuy this one as well again because I like it. It's a tiny little thing. And because it's so little, you know, you can just throw it in your purse. I don't have a purse, I have a backpack, and my backpack is like the best idea ever. Holds all my stuff, holds my snacks, it holds my papers, and it kind of feels like I'm having a hug the whole time. So anybody out there that has like anxiety like I do when you go outside, having like, you know, a backpack can help. And you know, get a fashionable one, get one that you like. And apparently it's like, it's a cool thing now to like walk around with a backpack. So you're in style. Apparently I'm in style too, whatever. But that's a tip, anyway. This is Techniques Get Gorgeous. So, I found this on Amazon. It's like $8. There's six grams of product in here. And this is an amazing highlighter. Like, this is how thick it is. And, okay, where did I do not swatch anything? Like, I don't think you can see it. My light sucks, you can't see it. My light sucks, you can't see it. Who cares? Um, I've put it on my face before and usually this is what I'm wearing when everybody asks me how I'm so glowy. Now I do love the e.l.f. baked highlighters. I have three like different shades of them and I also have a couple wet n wild mega glow highlighters but I still go for this one the most often because the, it doesn't have a color. It's kind of like just like glowy. My other e.l.f. and my other Wet n Wild, you know, they have tints and hues to them, but this one doesn't really give you a color. It, and it's totally awesome. $8 for 6 grams, like, hello. So the packaging is kind of flimsy, I've already broken it. But again, you live with what you got, and you know what, I don't care if it, it's not, you know, in perfect shape as per packaging, as long as it works. That's all that's cool with me. <clears throat> Speaking of packaging and saving money, my brush cleaner thing. So I think I've talked about this before. They sell it at Sephora. It's $25 at Sephora plus tax. And I figured out a hack to this on top of that. So this itself is about four to five dollars on Amazon, which you save a lot of money. But Guess what you can put on the inside? Pot scrubbers. And they do the same thing. Because you just need the part that's, you know, textured to wipe off your brush and to take the color off. So why would you pay $25 for a thing from Sephora where you can get this thing for 6 on Amazon and then when the little scrubby pad wears off, because the one from Sephora will wear out too, by the way, it's not amazing. Just put in these little scrubbers from the Dollarama that cost a dollar for six. Okay? Saving some money. Last thing I'm going to mention before I get into like the dupe stuff is this brow gel. I got it on the sale, obviously. But it's five dollars and it's definitely worth it. I will definitely rebuy this. Look how little this is. This is a tiny little thing and it's like a colored gel and it keeps your brows in the same place. Which I totally need because... My eyebrows are also curly, not just my hair. And today, that's all I have in them. I don't have anything else because 
The next thing I'm going to mention is that eyebrow thing, and it is a dupe from e.l.f. So. so this is the one I got from Sugar Cosmetics and my Ipsy. So one end has a spoolie and the other end has, you know, the product for your brow, which is great. You know, it's all in one, and if you tend to travel or whatever, it's there. So, if I want to buy this one again, because I really, really like the concept and I loved it, I looked it up, it's like 16 bucks for this. But I can get this one, which I did from e.l.f. The first one I bought, I gave to my sister when she came by, so I rebought it again in the sale. And then I put another one of them in my free order that I just won, because it's the exact same thing. One end has the color. So, I mean, it doesn't have the same shape of the thing, but whatever. You know what? I don't have that much money, so I'll work with the shape that I've got. And the other end has a spoolie. So, $2, $16. $2, 16 I'm gonna go with two. I mean, you guys can do whatever the heck you want. And the latest color it comes in is taupe. And that's actually a pretty universal color. I use taupe in my eyebrows. My sister's blonde, and she uses taupe, and it works. Sticking with e.l.f. products, now this is one that, again, I bought it for myself, and then when I saw it, I was like, this gotta go to my sister, because we happened to be looking around, and she showed me the Kat Von D lipstick that she was looking for, which is this color, and it's Requiem, Requiem, or whatever it's called. It's the pretty much the exact same color, except this is two dollars, and I don't know how much Kat Von D look lipsticks cost, but it's a lot more than two. And the only thing is that hers is like a matte dry down, and this one's like a gloss. But when it comes to color, it's it's the same color. It's that same beautiful lilac soft color, and the color for this one is called Tea Rose. The purple one is like bright purple. Which I also bought because I love bright colors, but this one, uh, you know, it's it's great. It's I don't know. That's it. Now, this Elf product has been talked about. If you haven't heard about it, I don't know where you've been. So it is the bronze highlight thing in Saint Lucia. This is three dollars from Elf, or maybe four because prices do change a little bit a little bit I mean it's inflation come on let's go with it but four dollars this is the exact same colors it gives you the exact same effect as the forty dollar NARS duo of the orgasm other color whatever it's the NARS's best-selling blush is called orgasm so that's the blush kind and hold on I actually I did look this up by the way so this is the same thing as the NARS Highlighting Bronzing Blush Duo in Orgasm Laguna, which is $40 American. This is 4 bucks, and it's the exact same thing with a little bit of difference because you can't exactly replicate things because that would be like illegal. There's a little bit of glowy like shimmer to these colors that the NARS doesn't have, but I mean nobody's really complaining about the extra glitter that you see in the product because when you put it on your face I haven't seen these give me any glitter and I live for highlights so if it would give me a highlight I would definitely tell you and it doesn't. The last dupe I want to talk about is not from e.l.f. which is you know different for me but you know what I, I go with the best which happens to be Essence Cosmetics and it was on sale this week which was even better for me. So I loved this Ciate Wonderland Coal Gel Liner. I loved it. And I mean, there's almost nothing left. I got it for like two bucks, I think, at Winners, obviously. If I have anything name brand, I got it at Winners because I cannot afford name brands. Uh, I love it, it goes on really easy, and I wanted to rebuy it. I looked it up and it's $20 American. Or maybe 22 actually, somewhere's in there. Anyway, either way, out of my price range. And I was actually going to save up to maybe buy it. But then I was like, hmm, I bet you there's a dupe. I found it. Well, I mean, I looked it up on the internet and then I found it. So the Essence Extreme Lasting Gel, whatever, it's waterproof, but it's easily taken off with any kind of micellar water. It doesn't really... And it's even prettier than the Ciate because I tried it on today. 
So this color is just amazing. So it's black, but it's not like black, 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 which I like because for people out there who like black, 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 you have to be the type of person that can pull off that look. Not everybody can pull off black, black, black. Uh, so this is a little bit on the navy blue side, and I know you can't see it because my light's bananas. But it pulls these little tiny glitters of like navy blue purples in them, and it looks great. It's not too black, but it's black enough, and it's, you know, right now it's dried, but when you put it on, you have about a minute if you want to smudge it, which is good. I mean, a minute is good enough. I mean, this came with a little teeny weeny brush for you to smudge it on your own. I mean, you can either just keep this brush or you can use those little brushes that come in every single little thing of makeup. I, they put, why did they put those little teeny weeny makeup brushes in there that nobody ever uses? I don't know. 